you've probably noticed that your Android device is quite a bit slower than when you first got it. There can be numerous reasons for this, so today I'll show you various ways to speed up the performance of your Android phone or tablet. Let's get started. I'll be demonstrating these tips using a Pixel 2 XL running Android Oreo 8.1. The solutions may vary for you depending on which phone and version of Android that you're running. First, you'll want to make sure that your device is up to date. Newer versions of Android will sometimes include patches or bug fixes that can speed up Android. This should happen automatically, but if it doesn't on your phone, you can check for updates by going to Settings. Near the bottom of this page, select System. System Update, then tap on Check for Update. After it's done checking, if there's no update, it should tell you that your system is up to date. It's also a good idea to clean up your home screen. Using live wallpapers and widgets, use system resources that you might want to free up. So go and find those widgets that you don't need and remove them by long pressing and dragging up to remove. Being able to quickly switch between open apps is convenient. Even though the impact on system memory is minimal, they are worth clearing out if your phone is sluggish. To close any apps you're not using, tap on the Overview button in the lower right. Then just swipe away any apps that you want to exit. To close them all out, you may have the option near the top right for Clear All. Once they're cleared out, it will take you back to your home screen. When you're not using your Bluetooth, it's advisable to turn it off. You can do this by pulling down your notification tray. If Bluetooth is on, tap on the Bluetooth icon to turn it off. Or you can go into Settings, Connected Devices, and toggle Bluetooth on or off here. Back on the primary page for Settings, Android, just like any operating system, needs space to run smoothly. If you're running low on space, your phone will start to slow down. I have a general rule with all operating systems to leave at least 10% free. One easy way to free up space is to go to Apps and Notifications and go through all of your applications and uninstall the ones that you are no longer using. There may be apps hogging up your CPU cycles and quickly draining your battery. So let's jump into Battery, scroll down to the section, App usage since full charge. This is not a good example since my phone was recently charged, but if you notice an app using a higher percentage than you think it should be using, tap into it and select for stop, and then tap OK. If the app is really misbehaving, you might want to consider uninstalling it. You might be tempted to use a battery optimizer. Don't even bother. In my experience, most of these are absolute garbage that don't work as intended. Plus, you might have to deal with annoying ads and malware. The same goes for task killers, which I've noticed in testing can actually slow your device down. Cache data, which is information your apps store to make them boot more quickly, should make your phone quicker, but can have the opposite effect with apps where the cache becomes bloated. To remove the cache data individually from apps, tap on Storage. You will see several categories listed, browsers like Chrome, along with undefined applications, will appear in other apps. I'll select Chrome here at the top. The cache being stored is nearly a gigabyte. To remove it, select Clear Cache. To the left of Clear Cache, select Manage Space. To delete unimportant storage, tap on Free Up Space. You'll get the message that this will clear cookies, cache, and other data of sites Chrome doesn't think is important then tap on OK. Back in the main menu for storage, tapping on Free Up Space will clear any unneeded storage from your device. You would just need to tick the empty boxes to the right of everything you'd like to remove and then tap Free Up in the lower right. I'm not going to do this right now, so I'll just hit Cancel. If you're using a phone with limited memory and storage, you should consider using lightweight versions of popular apps that use less resources with most of the same features. There are currently lightweight versions for Skype, Facebook, Facebook's Messenger, and many others. Some of these are not available in all markets. Back in the Settings menu, we'll now take a look at Developer Options. 
which can be found by going down to System. On my screen, it's just above System Update. If you don't see it, you will need to enable it. So select About Phone here at the bottom. Then find Build Number. Tap on it seven times. Mine's already enabled, so I get the message, no need, you're already a developer. Let's go back, and you should now see Developer Options listed. Tap into it. I'll now go through several settings here that can improve the performance of your device. Scroll down the page a bit and find Transition Animation Scale. And there it is. Setting this to Animation Off will just make your apps appear without any fancy animation. Just above and below Transition Animation Scale, you will see Window Animation Scale and Animator Duration Scale. You can turn those off as well to see if it helps. Not much further down the page is Force GPU Rendering. Turning this one on will force your device to use the graphical processing unit instead of software for the rendering of 2D drawings. You may get faster speeds, but this can also reduce your battery life. Scrolling down a little bit further, let's find Set GPU Renderer. So tap on it. If you play games on your phone, users have reported that setting this to OpenGL Skia helps to reduce lag in games. I'm not experiencing that issue, so I'll leave it as is. Now let's scroll down and find Background Check. Quite simply, this one shows you which apps have permission to run in the background. Just toggle off the apps that you don't need. You may notice a slight improvement to your speed and battery life. If you're using a phone with a heavily bloated version of Android offered by the manufacturers, you should consider using a third-party launcher. A few that I recommend are Nova Launcher, Action Launcher, and even the Microsoft Launcher is really good. With a cleaner user interface, you may find these quicker to use than what was installed on your phone. If you haven't restarted your device in a while, this just may be a quick fix to restore some of the speed back into your device. Restarting can stop unnecessary tasks and clear out the cache. This is an obvious step that often gets overlooked. The final step you should take if all else fails is to do a factory reset by going to Settings, System here at the bottom, and Reset Options. You should see an option to erase all data. Selecting this will erase all of the data from your device. So make sure you have backed up before doing a factory reset. The good news is that your device's software state will be restored back to the condition the day you received it. Hopefully these tips helped you out. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you learned something new. And if you're new to this channel, smash or lightly tap the subscribe button and bell notification icon for more tutorials and other tech related stuff from Tech Gumbo.